Ukraine says the battle for the country's second largest city is over. Military analysts agree that Russian forces have been driven out of Kharkiv, with reports of some retreating back across the Russian border. It's good. I'm happy that we're pushing the invaders back to their territory. Of course, it would be better if this was over already. I'd like to go back home to see my family who are still under occupation. But it's looking ever more desperate for the last remaining Ukrainian defenders in Mariupol. Our correspondent Rachel Younger is in Kyiv. If there is a glimmer of hope, it is vanishingly small, given that there are a thousand fighters still trapped there, hundreds of them believed to be seriously injured. So we understand that while negotiations are ongoing between the two sides being brokered by Turkey, the Ukrainian government is telling us that the Russians will only consider involving 60 of the most seriously injured fighters in that evacuation. No wonder then that the wives and girlfriends of some of those fighters who've carried out the most impassioned, impressive campaign to try and win international attention for their plight have held a press conference here today in Kyiv in which they appealed to the Chinese leader Xi Jinping to try and put pressure on Vladimir Putin. And I think if that seems like the very longest of shots, that underlines just how desperate the situation is now becoming.